Guys, what's up? It's Mark. How's everybody doing? I want to start off by saying I've been slacking, not posting the videos as much as I used to. Um, with that said, inventory is kind of hard to get right now. If you guys have any cars or trucks you're selling in the local Virginia area, I'd be more than happy to take a look at them and pay top dollar um, for vehicle once I get a few pictures emailed and maybe the VIN number and the miles. So I'll be more than happy to put a number on it for you. Um, and I'll post the video on my YouTube channel and reference you and give you a big shout out. With that said, guys, check this out. I got a special surprise today. Uh, for all you Cummins uh, third gen owners out there, um, this is absolutely, I can't, I can't, I can't really, I forgot what I was going to say. Hold on. I lost my train of thought right now. I was thinking about, so you ever, you guys ever thought about something while you're speaking? It's called like, multi, it's called incredibly multitasking. Well, I just did that and I lost my train of thought. Anyways, on with the show. Uh, this, my friends, is a one owner, one owner, South Carolina, if I remember correctly, 2004 Dodge Ram 2500 SLT 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel 4x4, owned by a respectfully speaking old gentleman, um, and it's just a phenomenal truck. It really is. Um, I can't, I can't grasp the concept of how a lot of people can take these trucks and just beat the piss out of them and, you know, all that kind of, modifying's not, not bad. That's not, that's not the problem. Just not taking care of stuff is, is, is crazy. Like all these old school Cummins and like the Fox body Mustangs, they're, they're a dying breed. And this is a prime example of one that's been preserved as, you know, better than the rest. I, I would say this one's, to put it uh, lightly, this one is in my opinion, way above average. Um, and I say that because certain things, I've, certain of these trucks I've seen are, you know, really beat to piss. But this one's not, if you're looking for something that's like showroom material, go spend $100,000 at the local Dodge dealership. This one, obviously, it's got a scratch right there. Here's your block heater right there. Um, you know, the bumper's in great shape. You got a few rock chips here, but moderately speaking, the headlights are clear. They're nice looking. Um, it's just a really good, like nice truck. Tires have about probably 40% maybe tread on them. There's the underside. It's just a lot of dust and you know, that's where my guy, the guy lived on an old dirt road. I can tell because if you look right here, watch, see, that's dust. That's, that's a dirt road right there. That's the best thing in my opinion. It's not a, this is a South Carolina truck. So it preserved, <laughs> preserve the damn frame and it's absolutely beautiful as you can see besides the wear and tear of like sandblasting from driving i mean it is in great shape the, the wheels are in good shape uh he, he put this style uh kind of i guess you'd say rock protectors along the whole perimeter of the truck um and here's the frame right here it's got a, uh, some fifth wheel brackets in the back right here for towing if you need to looks like they've never really been used the bed's really never been used too much besides you know a few things thrown in here um slt badging right there but yeah it's a really nice truck it really is this one is for sale and so the review on it uh what can i say most about this truck it's it's an awesome awesome old school cummins um and they just run and drive good starts up every time no issues show you guys the interior look at the interior that's, that's just to tell you right there the original sticker is still on the truck look still on the glove box the original sticker looks like it's never even been touched the seats are in damn good shape the headliner uh four-wheel drive original radio nothing abused nothing molested miles a little bit of miles on it but not for the year 190,083 miles on it uh you get the overhead console right there with the navigation the temperature and look at the carpet i mean it's just i mean golly i can't tell you enough about it the door jams are good look at the door jams on this sucker um walking around to this side right here um here we go freshly new inspection and oil change um at the local Dodge dealership over here in town. I bring all my vehicles there for recalls. That way it delivers a better product. You get people who manufacture the vehicle straight from the source. Um, and look at the door jams. Like I was saying, it's just, the truck is in damn good shape. Door jams are as clean as a whistle. There's the VIN number. You can check the one owner. It's gonna be on the, the description on my website too. 
power windows, power locks, power seats. The seats are in good shape. Look at this. I mean, not to try to lick my own B-A-L-L-S, but try to compare. I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, I saw one on eBay. It had two miles on it, and it was $300,000. Well, this is not that, but it's in amazing shape for what it is. Um, and it's for sale. If you want to know the price, click on the link in the description right here. Or click on the description verbiage. It'll do a drop-down menu. You can go directly to the website. Let's check the hood, power plant. Uh, here's an electric trailer blade controller right there. Your four-wheel drive on the floor. Window switches, AC blows ice cold, controls on the steering wheel. The steering wheel's in good shape. Look at this, for 190,000 miles, look at the the uh, factory grooves and the, uh, how do you call it, texture, if you will, on the steering wheel. Look at that. I mean, if my camera would focus, look at it. It's just awesome. Sorry, I'm bragging enough about this truck. You guys wanna go on with the show. You wanna hear it start up like the beginning of the video um, or the end of the video? I, put, I did put brand new hood shocks on it, okay? It's got brand new hood shocks. The battery's in good shape. Uh, there's the engine right there. No blow by. It's super, super clean. The filters have been done. The oil's good. I mean, it's just a heck of a truck. Really nice. Like I said, it's not perfect, but for the year, it's way above average. Chips on the front bumper, little scratches, but um, yeah, I don't think I'm forgetting to go anything else, do anything else about it. But if you guys have any questions, oh, I gotta show you this too. Check this out. A lot of people put like candy and whatnot in the center console. I was pretty impressed. Got a small little rip there from my elbow. Over. Look at that. Nothing's even been in it. Nothing. It's awesome. So uh, yeah, let me show you inside the glove box real quick too. The, this is your touch up paint. This is the original manufacturing sticker right there. Um, there you go. There's the inspection report. Saf this camera can't focus. They Safford Motors Dodge directly done at the dealership. Inspection oil change. Uh, signal lights were bad. We put new signal lights on it. Passed inspection after we put the signal lights in it. Everything else was good to go. So there you go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about it or interested in buying this truck, um, if it's going to be more than three months. Probably not going to be for sale anymore. Today's date is November 3rd, 2023. Remember that when you're going to inquire about this truck. Uh, otherwise, call 540-898-3025. Ask for Mark. Uh, if I'm not available, tell whoever to leave a message, please, or text me your phone number. Uh, it's 540-898-3025 or visit superiorwholesale.org. And my cell phone number should be listed in this description. Hope you guys are doing great. See ya.